hello hello everyone how are you hope all is well with you guys hope you all are doing okay and you sure are in the best of health remember your health is your wealth now I've been noticing over the years the music atmosphere has changed the landscape of Jamaican music because everyone is trying to do music more outrageous than the other artists and we are spiraling straight down to the abyss of hell I want to find out something when an artist decide to put music together don't they want to get the most out of it and that they can sell as much as they possibly can home in Jamaica and abroad because I would hope that doing music is a business for them because if you are doing music as a business I would least hope that you are expecting it to can at least pass airport I do wonder sometimes when I hear the music what really and truly goes through the minds of these nowadays artists because really and truly apart from the circle of friends who are generally yes men who can't put a sentence together properly and generally who are always not really adding much substance because if everything that the artist does you're going to say yeah 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 because obviously some of these music that come out it's hard to believe that there are other people there listening to it before they decided to put it out there or could it be that they really don't mean the artist any good but yet if he does well they want to be running on that bandwagon or I guess all they are thinking of is if the artist make a thing you know something will pass down the bloodline for them you understand and it's even more so if the artist boss all they want to know they are along for the ride the fact is many of these music most well thinking people will never buy a record and the friends around them who they think is their support line will never support them by evil going on the streams or even buying any records or albums they put out anyway if they even reach that level some of you the best way for you guys is to see your money is if somebody is doing a show and they just bungle up a few of you up there and you're all up there making one whole heap of noise and bang ranging with each other and those who catch on catch on and those who not catch on are just so and then they run around and say yeah we are artists which really and truly in a real life most of you running around so not artists only not making a dollar from music only doing illicit things to finance the artist's life and you know if you look good buy new clothes and for pay for the studio because studio are not free no generally you know reviews is not something that i do but this is new to me because a relative of mine draw my attention to this artist segeven i guess the name is spelled s-g-e-e-v-e-h-n-a-m you separate them so it's s-g-e-e -E space v-e-h-n-a-m is supposed to be some kind of new artist I'm telling you his song is atrocious him give me psycho rapist vibes I really had to take a seat I was literally scared just listening to the song my whole body went cold firstly his song starts with a germs which I think somehow he is calling woman germs and for my more mature listeners 
I am going to ship shape the wordings that I'm going to say next. The next thing, the next line in the song, let me we in your face and I do out your throat and burst in your ears. Can you imagine? That's how the song started and it was very explicit, you know. I swear, if ever I was to continue the song the way how it is describing and how it handles and how it does women, I'm telling you, you will be totally shaken up. And of course, you know, there is women in the video winding up and dancing to the song. It is totally outrageous. I am scared to myself wondering what kind of mind have all this in their head to sing about. The way all music is going right now, you know with everyone trying to be worse than the next, you know. The only thing they leave is for men to be in men's throat. And don't be surprised if and when that was to ever happen. There got to be a limit. You can't get any worse than this song, honestly. I don't understand the levels of how music is organized. So I'm asking, who are the producers? Who are the publishers of music before they come out for airplay? Please, I'm begging somebody in the audience who is more intelligent on the ways of how music is done and sent out to comment and tell me like how this music get passed to be playing on YouTube. Or even playing on the airwaves. I know it won't be playing on the radio station, but obviously it is getting out there, people is listening to it. I remember some time ago an artist getting arrested and taken before the courts for singing some lewd lyrics at some event. And trust and believe his lyrics was nothing near this. This is the worst I've seen it gone to. I know some enablers will say, oh, the R&B people, them are the hip hop ones sing the songs like it's not as blatant as this. And I don't remember hearing any that is like this. And furthermore, me a Jamaican and me a listen to Jamaican artists putting out this song for the already messed up mind Jamaican kids that the teachers can't control in school. And obviously the parents now have no control over them what going to happen and please don't tell me that music don't affect young minds because they do it's time we move away from that fact in thinking that it doesn't because something need to be done about these artists there got to be some guidelines like what the hell let me give you just another line and please forgive me my mature audience this is how the next line goes. Suck me B A L L S balls. Nyam my C U M. Swallow everything. Then take a after morning pill. Jesus Lord. You know, sister, we need help. Me tell you, sir, me literally nervously scared listening to this song. We are in a bad place when a youth comes out and feel it is okay to do a song like this for music. Not to mention the video. The video is another thing. But we're not even going from the video part. It's just the words that hit you like pellets. I thought they said that the music had gatekeepers. Where are the gatekeepers? Come to think of it. I wonder if Bounty Killer hear this song because you know what? I find ironic. When Aishana did equal rights, 
he was one of those main people that was out there saying etc and i can understand where i'm coming from but right now bounty killer you need i think they will listen to you because you're the grown godzilla listen to me man these youths need guidance this song is totally crap and disrespectful to all level of any woman being you know what i really and truly now starting to believe my older folks when they say the slaves that were sent to jamaica were the worst ones they were unruly so they could not mix them lot with the more trained slaves so they put all the bad ones in jamaica it would explain a bit why jamaican people is so unruly and really and truly the only way jamaicans do the right thing and follow law and order is if someone is over them with a big stick if we are going to accept these kind of music in the society we are going to have mostly a condemned generation it's not like we're not already heading there because there need to be some line drawn between right and wrong it can't just be everybody galang and do what them feel like but who is watching because the powers that be is mostly content with scraping all they can and unless it directly affects them or somebody of notoriety pinpoint it i guess it will just be business as usual and we will just continue to be a decaying society what i see mostly that is happening is people are more interested in being a part of the trending or popular group whether it is negative or toxic as long as the populace are on it they go right ahead and join because if they don't do so somehow they feel that they are left out and nobody really give a rat's ass whether it is right or wrong no matter what the consequences will be so world boss they are road we waited a bit before he dropped a banger the reason i say a banger the views went over a million in a day can't imagine how the other artists are running around frantic wondering what they can put up that can at least stand up with vibes cartel song what these artists need to understand is that vibes cartel set a trend in dancehall history that even if he said ba ba bop sheep have you any wool all of a sudden people would have forgotten that they remembered it as nursery rhyme it would be the song of the year what they need to find out and learn from is the secret of how he stand firm even when he was behind bars for over a decade overall the rhythm is catchy and he has a hook line that celebrates his release from prison it goes like this thought i told you the comet is coming and that hook will resonate with his fans because he put up a good fight and spent millions to be free now the most controversial part of the song is i quote is what he does to their mother through the prison grill and to your girl through the window and how well he uses middle finger on them while doing them guys you know i have to word it nicely because i know only know how to find the music on yourself and listen to it all i want to say is cartel your middle finger look like it was under pressure bad bad hope it's still functioning as a regular person 
this part of the song would look bad in bad taste and disrespectful to women and somebody's mother or their girlfriend but if you're in the streets you would know there were allegations that many women beach society women or regular women were sending private parts pictures to vibes cartel and even videos of sex moves to him while he was locked up over the years but he was well entertained behind bars and just may have been touchy feeling them when they go on visits how will their men know he may look at it as even some of these men are haters and never wanted to see him get free so it's his way of trying and attacking them by dropping lyrics like that in his song in a unique way because obviously I'm not going to call the name but I'm going to let them know say, all on our guan he did have no woman weak and his middle finger never ram for your work however the song is straightforward the hook sell it off you could be singing the hook and forgetting the graphic part and still enjoy the song the vibes right however as usual you know most artists will eventually have a clean version for those who want to go hear it because they love the vibes the rhythm and they love the hook so at least they want to get too much of the graphics now alkaline has been missing a bit and it's quite interesting that he would choose to drop a song just in the time when vibes cartel drop a song after not dropping one for some time the song is called take a girl man it is a more calmer more cross the border song all your granny can sing it and still feel comfortable she can be listening it all if she's doing her gardening if you're in the kitchen cooking it's just regular the thing is the take a girl man hook is played out that is back then hook line because that hook is overly common the hook needed something else to give it that kick in terms of maybe different wording right there so the rhythm is chilled and vibes eh? but just take a girl man that's played out the rest of the song is a a plus versus vibes cartel song comet come because of the graphic in it it is more closer to the x-rated side trust and believe is not everyone is going to want to listen to that but the old rhythm and the vibes and the hook line with the comet is come it really hold you that part alone can just be a saying without the x-rated part it's just that it's not everyone is going to want to hear it because of the x-rated part of it but the hook a class it's sell off alkaline take a girl man hook is weak so cartel hook have style and vibes as they can just sing as i said the hook alone so really and truly alkaline hook really need more work but the songs can pass it's the man himself alkaline and world boss vibes cartel i'm out anyway guys please remember to like comment and subscribe to my platform please love you all bye for now